Hello dreamers and welcome back to another episode of our Diamond Painting 101 tutorial series. In today's episode we're talking everything tweezers. Keep watching to find out which pair out of a whole handful of tweezers tests the best. Plus, learn some alternative uses for these ultra precise tweezers. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hello dreamers, welcome back to Natalia 101 tutorials, tips and tricks. And today, as you can see, I have humongous amount of tools and that's all about tweezers. Guys, I know some of you and many of you are intimidated to start work with tweezers. Uh, they could be some of them in here from, it's like different, different company. Uh, I have here from Dreamer Design, I have here from Aliexpress, I have tweezers from um, Amazon and just look at the variety of them. Some of, some of them is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Let's just call their the name. They shouldn't be even packing a diamond painting. Some of them okay and some of them just perfect and only tool you need. So we will test it out all of this and see uh, absolutely from scratch from one bead to two how many beads we can grab with these tweezers can we grab tweezers um, beads with these tweezers or maybe they just not good at all uh, some tweezers may be good to pick up some fibers of your diamond painting if you happen to be have a pets in your house then you know the trouble right you always have to pick some for you will see on a diamond painting that just love our pets uh, we can't avoid them totally, they are here and we have to deal with it. So some of this, uh, like I say, some of them good, some of them bad, some of them alright, could be. And some of them that I didn't even test it out, well many of them I didn't test it out because I just know that uh, they are bad. So we will have some fun today, we're gonna place diamonds on diamond dream design canvas and we will figure out together with you what work is best which tweezers is the winner and uh, let's go have some fun you can see all set and we are ready to rock and roll in here and when i posted pictures something similar on my instagram i said you know i'm look like a surgeon and i'm ready to operate uh, yes, here's the tools that we are going to test it out and today we're gonna work on this beautiful caramel tight pool diamond painting 50 by 50 centimeters and you know I think we're gonna cover I, I found in this area in here we have a big square of the same colors and maybe this red kind of circles um, 926 and DMC color 3768. So rule for today, number one, no stylus pen. We are going to work only with these tools. They are look similar, but they are different. Let me zoom a little bit more close. This two, they came in the packaging, as you can see, and they maybe look like very similar, but they a little bit different as well. Um, I think one of them, see one came with the nice cup protector, the other one just like a little thing to hold it together. Um, and I think one of them a little bit more bent than the other. Uh, about the opening as you can see right there the difference how much the opening is different this one more narrow and this one more wide so it depends they are looks like a stainless steel heavy duty um, not bad not bad quality I would say so we will test it out this one now the others this one there is um kind of 
very cheap looking thingy they are different from each other and they all are from Aliexpress or Amazon as you can see the tips of them are a little bit different from each other some of them banded more some of them are straight um, this one is totally straight so we will test that as well and then I have this three beautiful tools that looks like all the same right but they are different and the difference in them uh, these two are the same almost the same you can see the tip is the same but one of them from Aliexpress and one of them from Dreamers Design so I will tell you later and this one looks exactly the same one but as you can see this one flat nose the ends are not pointy not sharp so let me set all this aside I put gems in our tray I will open uh, my canvas and we're gonna test it out all these tweezers and we will pick something that worked the best because this is like intimidated could be for someone have to start work with tweezers but I assure you it's easy when you practice a little bit more longer so let's get started I have prepared my beads in here and they are absolutely gorgeous we can always appreciate extra sparkles of dreamers design beads and here is the tweezers that we're gonna experiment with you as you can tell right this one has more opening than this one um, I cannot remember exactly where they came from with which diamond painting but they are feel heavy so first we're gonna try and I like that they are kind of you know banded so we will see if this is gonna be more comfortable or not so I'm gonna use for now first this one that has a less opening and I wanna test it out first how many beads I can pick it up with this tweezers so let's just count okay just enough for four and let's just see if I can actually pick yes I can all right let's try again okay looks actually pretty comfortable let's see if I can place them before I lose okay uh, I have to say they actually feels comfortable and because these drills are so good it's not even problem to pick them up and maybe it's even easy because they have a band in them so let's see one more time can we do it can we do it three times on the road on the road not road ah ay 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 <laughs> okay we got our first blooper we got a spill all right let's pick them up and try again but never give up never give up try more harder if you make them fly away just you know pick it up and try again so i would say this one is not bad I like the feeling it's not very hard to squeeze them and now we will try the second pair that it has more opening and let's see if this can grab even more gems diamonds okay so this one separated five beads but can we pick them or not that's gonna be questionable oh uh, they are band okay let's try a different row maybe um, no definitely five you can hug five but cannot pick five so let's try four again and let me kind of maybe zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on in my tray okay um, and I'm trying my best 
to pick them I will try four okay I got a four and basically I will just drop them in here let me see more as you can see I stroke a little bit more with this one it feels like the other one was much easier to pick maybe because they are not like too wide and holding the beads better this one feels like always see breaking up so with this two I will give plus to this with less opening and minus to the other pair which looks almost identical but this one have a little bit more sharp edge in here this one more round so this one for now I'm gonna put aside as a winner all right now we are gonna test we only have one pair of this straight pointy but as you can see there is a barely any opening in here if you want to place beads I don't know if we we can't even grab it doesn't fit even two beads in it so with this one you can definitely place only by one bead and it's comfortable it's comfortable but because of the thick edges like thick points uh, you can't really put drill for example next to each other because the and let me zoom you back into the canvas Oops, the other way you see that if I want to put this bead close to my to my next square I can't because the tweezers are too thick and I can't uh, fit into it so only I can use this pair of tweezers it's by using a uh, only checkerboard technique otherwise it's not gonna be good unless you're gonna use this tweezers only for picking up some stuff off your canvas and because they are it looks like it's even not even not even points so I don't know if you even can pick it up something off the canvas so this one definitely um, thumbs down I don't like it so I'm gonna put them on a no place okay next we have this three pair uh, three of them they look similar and here is close-up look this one more square in here this one smooth this is like more straight so we're gonna try first and see this two kind of similar to each other let's see how they will perform first we're gonna check them both on opening I would say this side a little bit more wider I don't know do you agree with me this one less open so let's try again the one that is less open we're gonna test first and see if we can do a good job on first of all just to pick I want to first see how many you can fit in here definitely four you can fit four and here it is I pick it up four and they fly and they fly okay maybe I squeeze too much let's try again I pick it up and I'm barely kind of like holding them and I try to place it my hands shaking okay I actually place this one without my elbow being on a canvas so I still did not bad job all right now let's try the other pair that is, it feels when I squeeze these two pairs, 
feels like one is uh, much easier to squeeze and this one more sturdier so let's try this one and see I'm just gonna shake it up my beads a little bit to reline them and let's see the other pair uh, same thing I can grab four beads with this and I cannot grab okay let's try the other row no it's just not listening okay let's try again are we on the camera okay not working not working okay let's try three okay I got three and they drop no okay this one is absolutely no this one is not good at all so now I'm gonna put this one right away on a pile of no and I grab the other one that we have a little bit kind of like a square looking more pointy um, and when we squeeze them they look like go really close those points so let's try it's very easy to squeeze so it's gonna be easy for people who has problems with hands and this one you can pick only three or less it doesn't work on more now let's see if we can make it to the canvas yes we did okay this seems to be easy okay you see this how difference could be it looks the same tweezers but I did not miss any on this one so this one definitely a good pair of tweezers and I will keep in mind all right I'm gonna put this to the pile of yes and this one it's kind of like on the middle yes and no maybe so I will put to the no so far we have from this cheap uh, looking tweezers we have two that perform best so far uh, okay let's continue now we have this three identical looking tweezers they look like sam same manufacturer make them but they are different in them especially uh, this one different so we're gonna start from it um, this one have a square point and they are supposed to be de-static um, or magnetic I think it was magnetic more words the magnetic free maybe um, and here is the opening how much you can open them they go pretty nice close together and now we will test it out how many drills we can pick with this one so let's see and because they are straight straight I usually pick up my beads on an angle of 45 degree and I pick four beads let's try to place them okay uh, let's see if I yes this is only for four beads and they looks like work really well okay I missed this one bead okay let's try one more time okay I did not line up this one good just a minute we're gonna little get tapping in here so never give up and you know just keep practicing keep try if you can't pick four do it at three sometimes depends on the um, okay here it is another four we're gonna try to place them right in here next to this row and they are placed nice and beautiful so yes I do love this one and I got this one from my friend Tina thank you very much my friend 
and also I received the same pair of tweezers from different companies so now I have two in my possession of this one and looks like more and more companies start to uh, put in their kits this kind of tweezers so if you are looking for one we will see on the end of this video so I'm gonna put this to yes so now guys there is two the other that we have in here so one of them dreamers design and one of them not if we look this way here is what we see can you guess yet which one is dreamers design this one it's bigger opening this one much less you can see how big difference so right now we gonna test and see how many beads we can pick with not dreamer design let's just start we're gonna leave dreamer design for the last to experiment to do our experiment so i'm gonna do the same thing as i did before and i want to see how many so i cannot even reach to four beads it doesn't fit so this uh, and this one tweezers from aliexpress but it perfectly picking the three beads at the time or less so we're gonna place and let's try again here it is again it's working and um, when I uh, just started diamond painting and I received this tweezers this was my the best tweezers to go with and uh, since then I always work if I have to work with tweezers with this pair and I'm not gonna tell you from which company they are but I will say maybe later on but this, the reason why I'm not going to tell you which, which company, because now lots of lots of different companies, even on AliExpress, ship diamond paintings with this kind of tweezers. They are sharp. They are almost identical. A little bit, you can see that um, pointy white. Um, a little bit longer in here so now we will test it out dreamers design they feel let me see like um, I would say they feel a little bit lighter but they are opening a little bit more and you can pick um, if you can pick but it's opening up to let me count first okay so one two three four five six it's opening after six beads but of course we're not going to be able to pick six beads and they are a little bit static right now so we're gonna fix it quickly i should have here somewhere dryer sheet um okay and if you didn't see it my video about how to fix static drill uh, go ahead and watch video from last week you might find lots of help up there so let's see if we would put here is four you see that with no problem if I just don't drop accidentally there and I'm sticking to the canvas uh, we can do three with no problem and let's try one more time uh, four if you just have to line up I just need to line up them nice and straight here it is so the most um, our favorites like this one you can pick only three or less with this one you can pick four but I do like both of this they are good and actually I like all three of this diamond uh, painting tweezers 
and I'm gonna put cup because this one is sharp they are sharp and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can talk a little bit so this three pair of tweezers are my favorite and as you can see they are all perform uh, perform oh my god I cannot speak today okay uh, they are work good you can pick them up with beads no problem you can place with them you can pick up fibers after um, your canvas if you have some pets fur landed it's really really easy now from the cheap ones of course this two that we pick but if I would pick which one is my favorite from all this five I would probably toss this two even I like them it just lately I so used to it to get to this one that um, I don't know I just I love this three pair they almost uh, as good as you know each one have something um, good about it but to the winner this is perfect one but if you want to do something like very point and pick um, because they are a little bit square sometimes it's hard to pick off the canvas fiber or cat and I try um, but to place drills they are amazing now uh, this guys too they are two good tweezers and I like them uh, in fact that I can place with dreamers design by four drills which make me to call them as a winner from the other pair but the other pair if you place just by one bead at a time or two beads at a time they are both look really good and good quality uh, pair of, of tweezers now uh, I will give you on the end very strange tips maybe what else you can do and let me just close my diamond painting so I don't stick to the glue and guys there's not only you can do diamond painting with these tweezers if you like me like let's say cross stitch right and I did struggle struggle okay I need it this is strand okay the other way this is strand of six let me pick something more darker so we can see better on my hand this is strand of six threads together and with my nails because I have a little nails I have a struggle to even hold it together to separate three strands okay so this my tool to go because I have few of these tweezers by dreamer design I just grab like this okay boom I'm done three and three this is my tool to go to do almost anything in a house now if I need to open some packages you probably see me in few videos I do opening packages with them the stubborn stickers well what if I have a makeup and I cannot stand the stickers uh, they just drive me nuts especially when they put sticky tape to cover when you just buy a new one right this one obviously already open but if you don't like the labels look at that these tweezers are very easy to just lift it up and you can peel the whole thing off okay now um, you know I have this collection of bottles which is pill prescription that my husband using and before he gave it to me there's a always always a label in here with his names prescription what kind of pills in it so after he finished he tossed it to me and I grab the scissors and I peel the label make sure no residue glue is left and they are work wonderful to give rid of all those sticky you know paper labels uh, sticky tape um, opening packaging or even envelope this is great and even this one can work as a bone folder if you need to straighten up something 
so this is really versatile tool and now I'm gonna tell you one more tip ladies and you will be surprised because this is nothing to do with craft but <laughs> believe it or not you can plug your eyebrows with it and I tried <laughs> okay now we know everything about me so if you have some facial hair that you don't want it hey trust me these babies will do the job so now I will say thank you so much for watching have a wonderful time learn practice and drill with passion like Kaylin says follow our channel Pinterest and become our friend fan and subscriber come over join our group because we have lots of fun up there so thank you so much for staying with me by testing all these tools and the winner is of course you know dreamers design tweezers are always awesome awesome tool and if you have one of them you know I'm telling you the truth they are amazing so have a great day everybody and I see you in my next episode goodbye all right, dreamers, leave a comment down below your tips and tricks for working with tweezers. If you enjoyed this video, give Natalia a thumbs up and also stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell because we have some exciting videos for you this week, including a behind the scenes feature at Dreamer Designs. We hope that you have a fabulous week and remember to paint with passion. Goodbye for now.